In this video, I'm going to go over some of the features and the setup with Content Competition Assassin. When you first open up the software, you will have a box that pops up where you will need to enter your email and license key to use the software. Also, if you come over here once the software loads and opens, if you come over here to settings, you can also enter a new license key here, which will upgrade you to gold or to more installs. So if you get an upgrade or you have more installs, this is where you would actually put in your new license key. Here on the setting tabs as well, we have how many threads or how many processes are gonna be running at the, the time when the CCA is doing its work. It's re recommended not to set that number over four. It's defaulted at two. And what I have found is that two seems to be fine so you should just probably leave it there. If you find it's freezing up or crashing, you can set it to one. Or if you find it's running smoothly and you want it to go a little bit faster, you can try three or four. So this is where you would find the settings here. And then this is the product version. And then you'll also be prompted to update if there's a new update as well. This, that will be here. This help button here will take you to the help portal where you can get more information on how to use the software or put in a ticket if you're having any issues. Over here under file, you can save projects and load them. Uh, that will be in the actual software format. So if you're working on something and you're not ready to export it yet, you can just load, you can save the project you're working on and then load it back in. You also have the option here to export your results to CSV, so to a spreadsheet. You can clear your results. And in a later video, I will show you how you can use the Niche Consultant, which will give you competition analysis. Up here, we have tabs with all of our platforms. We have book sites. We have document sites. We have app and magazine sites, and under other sites, we currently have Udemy, and there may be other sites coming here soon. Here we're going to be putting in our keywords and finding keywords. We also have the option to manually enter keywords. We also have the option to add search volumes to our results here, and then in another video, you will have the option to do this in a different window as well. So this is an overview of the setup and the features of competition Content Competition Assassin. And when you're done with the software, you can just exit the program here.